Hey there, dear friends of beautiful voices. Today I want to look at a classic icon, Minnie Ripperton. She was known for her high whistle tone and her really unique style. So let's look at her singing live in 1975. I was already born. <laughs> I was one year old. Loving you. <laughs> birds chirping <laughs> look at all these palm trees or trees yeah palm trees okay she starts out with that straight tone La, a little bit of a broader and then thank you it's very much her trademark she didn't put a lot of vibrato on even on the long pitches and she kind of does this kind of uh, it's almost like crying not a lot of vibrato, just that dynamic change, you know, like an ebb and flow. It's like a wave. Oh, no, no. And making love with you is all I want to do. When she sings that, it, it actually sounds like really is all I want to do. <laughs> Loving you More is just, just a dream come true. Okay, let's talk about this. She starts out with this very chesty sound and then she just casually and very seamlessly connects into her whistle register in the middle of a phrase, in the middle of a word. That's like, it's so hard. You can't really have this connection unless you get very, very, very light for that whistle tone. Very, very light. Very little air, air coming out. just almost like holding your breath. And she just casually throws it in there quite in the beginning of the song, which is unusual. A lot of time, a lot of times you'd sing the song and then when the chorus comes back, then you do the ad-libs. But she, she kind of throws it in casually. And everything that I do is out of love and you. Is out of love and you. It's almost like she's crying. Oh, oh. La, 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 la. Very light and breathy. La, 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 la. la, 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 la. She does have a little vibrato, la la la, just on that one. No one else can make me feel the colors that you bring. I love how she just gives it this meaning, colors that you bring. It's like by almost whispering that the colors that you bring um really hitting home here she's really telling the story please stay with me while we grow and we will live each day in springtime and that is something like i always thought like she kind of that was an accident but she repeats this day she kind of does a little it's almost like she's doing a little flip but it sounds like she's not doing it intentionally, but she is doing it intentionally. It's very trademark. Love you. So straight. You. And then she kind of just whoosh, drops the pitch. Has made my life so beautiful. Oh, and she's really telling. Made my life so beautiful. With a little bit of fry in there. And she's like, basically almost speaking it. And every day of my life is filled with love and you. Filled with fry. And love and you. I see your soul come shine. So I love this. This phrase was like, she was strong in chest was, I see. And then it's head voice. Do, 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 do. And she seamlessly connects through her mix, um, head voice, mix, and then back into her chest voice, which if you have 
too high of a larynx is really hard to achieve. You kind of have to kind of, it's almost like you want to have your larynx in an equilibrium and not pushed down or high too much. If you're looking for a way to help you stay on track when it comes to singing, whether it's technique, mindset, or motivation, in my online singing school, you will not only have access to all of my pre-created video courses, which includes more than 200 video lessons, but you'll also have access to an amazing community of like-minded people, singers from all over the world who love music. You will also have the opportunity to get personal feedback from me during our monthly group coaching session. You can dive into all of my courses like Music Theory for Singers, How to Sing Opera, Mastering Pop Ballads, The Vocal Warm-Ups Vault, The Vocal Troubleshooting Guide, Back to Basics, Perfect Beginnings, and more. Check out the link below and I hope to see you on the inside. There's this debate going on about larynx position. You know, does it go high? Does it go low? Really, if you don't want to create a lot of problems and brassy sound and too much strain on the vocal cords... It is a good idea to have kind of a freely moving but lower position larynx when you sing on the top, which then also allows you to connect to the lower register a little more seamlessly. And every time it weeps, weeps. I just love this. Ooh, I'm more in love with you. Okay, wait a minute. I have to go back here. This is just so original. And every time it weeps, I'm more in love with you. So fill in the blank. And every time that we, ooh, it's like she's having an orgasm on stage. I just love this. And then it's so casual. I just can't get over how. She just throws in this whistle register and tells the story. And then she says, la, 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 la. Now it's, there's almost like an innocence in this now. You know, first she's like, oh. And then she's like, la, 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 la. Like a little girl. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. I love how she kind of make me feel, feel. And she kind of gets that turn downward uh, with a little bit of a glottal offset there. What is that you bring? Please stay with me while we grow old. And we will live each day in springtime. There it goes again. Day in springtime. It's, it's almost like... Sounds almost like it went wrong, but it's exactly what she wants to do. Love in you is easy cause you're beautiful. Just listen to that ebb and flow. It's like waves. Da, da, da. Easy cause you're beautiful. See, she's not easy cause you're beautiful. And that's how you play with these voice colors is by giving it a lot of dynamic ebb and flow it's like easy to be beautiful whatever she's saying <laughs> um but uh, uh the, like that intensity ebb and flow helps you whenever you lighten up those moments it's easier to be breathy and to be in a more falsetto or head voice and then when you kind of lean in to the pitch that's when it'll be more heavy register more chesty. And every day of my life is filled with love and you. And baby, love and you. I sing your soul comes. And now she was a little stronger on the I sing your love. So, which means now she is doing that a little bit lower, lower larynx to get that sound a little bit more resonant and full. And then still connecting seamlessly into her lower register.
almost sounded like she went up on the end. She ended on this one. And then the piano came in. <laughs> wow. You'd think that was as high as she would go. And then she goes up higher even more. Wow. I just love going back in time to see, number one, how the style was sometimes very different and how unique some singers just are. You know, we're going to look at some more old, uh, not old singers. If they're still alive, they probably are old now. But I just love 70s, 80s or even further back. And um, let me know in the comments, what other classics would you like me to look at? We're wanting to look at great vocalists because it's inspiring and there's always someone great alive. There are great singers alive at all times. Thank you so much for watching today. Until next time, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing.